Hi Ron, welcome to Cashwalks. We're off to an old clay pipeworks and an offset multi. Come and see how we get on finding the multi. The Brosley Pipeworks is in a small town of Brosley in the Iron Bridge Gorge, Shropshire. We've come across 17th and 18th century clay pipes while mudlarking on the Thames foreshore, so we're very interested in how and where clay pipes were made. These were disposable pipes smoked only a few times before being discarded. You could purchase a pipe with tobacco at any tavern bar. We're heading to the Brosley Clay Pipe Works, which was once the site of the most prolific clay tobacco pipe makers in Britain, exporting worldwide. They continued making pipes here right up to 1957. We've obtained some footage from Ireland of clay pipes being made. And then pop your little roll into the mould. Put the lid on and squeeze it together. Then it goes into this contraption which is called a gin press. And basically this is like a vice that as you turn mm -hmm. the handle it, it yeah. clamps it in place. And you bring this part down which is the stopper. And the stopper forms the bowl where your tobacco would go. And so then you just kind of keep it hold, uh, held together and just kind of chop off that excess. And with a hand stopper and your finger, smooth out the inside. And you just want to get rid of any kind of little lines that you may have on the inside. If you have some creases, you can just, because the clay is nice and wet now, you can just smooth them out. And that's like the first step. Wow. Right, the second bit, then you've got to pass your wire just right to the centre of the bowl. And you don't want to burst it. So I'll just check the other side. See, are there any lines there? No, that's good. And this is where it can go horribly wrong. <laughs> I don't have a steady hand. It be a disaster. Yeah. So you just want to thread it right up the centre. And that's just what takes the practice. You can kind of see a little uh, bit of metal coming out oh, through yes. there. Now, if you, you want to give it a bit of a twist. Otherwise, sometimes you can block it up as you pull it back. And that's all I can show you today. But you do them kind of in batches like I've done there. And like the following day, you'll trim this little part off. And then you'll press on whatever design you decide to use mm. and they're ready now for sanding so uh, once they're completely dry like this you smooth them down with some steel wool just to get rid of all the rough edges and then they go into the kiln to be made hard. It's a 10 minute drive from Iron Bridge. We come across a problem we sometimes face when travelling. Locals tell us the museum might be closed. You have arrived at your destination. Never mind, if it is there's still a geocache to find. A Brosley pipe was the finest quality clay pipe you could buy. Pipes made in the 19th century were often very ornate. The simpler and smaller the pipe, the older it is. It's a good way to date them. Well, here we are at the Pipe Museum. Unfortunately, it's closed. Um, it's only open in the school holidays, um, but we can still get the cash. It's one of the FYI series um, where the guy that came up with the idea was worried that cashers would come and just pick up the cash, sign the log and go. And by answering a question or so on the uh, information panel, you learn a bit more. So you get your cash and you learn a bit more. And it's sort of what Cash Walks is about, trying to find interesting places to go geocaching. So it brought us here to the Pipe Museum. Let's see if we can answer the questions. The questions on the cash page answered and coordinates to the cash worked out. Let's head off on a short drive through Brosley to find the cache. Where would you hide the cache? Just in here maybe? Let's have a look. Oh, I can feel something. Ooh, that's yeah, good job. Oh, shotgun cartridge. Hmm. Get it out of that. Yeah, it's coming. Here it is. <laughs> to you, Rick. Excellent. Now there's a traditional cache to be found at the local church. 
Rosley was the centre of iron making and there are some fascinating iron tombstones in the churchyard. Okay, 80 metres away. Okay, let's have a look at this nice old church. Hmm. It looks large, doesn't it? Yeah. It's got a big church, right? All Saints has a peal of eight bells, which are rung for Sunday service and weddings. There's also a Parsons Sanctus bell, dating from 1642. What's the hint, Lynn? Yeah, not sure. Top of brick column under the ivy. Go over to the left. Uh, there's the top there, and I can't see anything. And what does it say? Is that on the a log? Mm. Okay. Made reference to a camo bag. It's a bit worse for wear, it said. Made a camo bag. Mm. I just walked over a camo bag, huh. or a little bit of camo. Oh, oh you did too. Mm. Oh dear. I think that's it. That's pretty well had it. Is that a log book? Yeah. Oh, there's there's the log book. Maybe much worse for wear. Okay, we can still sign it. <laughs> well the camo bag sort of exists. And there is a log book. So we'll put the date. And right, Jarek. Okay. Oh well we'll Notify the cash owner, perhaps, eh? Yeah. Let them know. Needs of attention. Yeah, needs a bit of attention, all right. Mm. Now let's have a look around the grounds. There's an ancient yew tree here. There it is. Yeah. Quite a big one. It is. It's got a sizable trunk. I wonder how old it is. Look, it doesn't look as old. Well, the other one was two and a half thousand years old, yes. wasn't it? <laughs> the one at uh, over in Windsor, wasn't it? Yeah. Over at or well, near Windsor, it was um, where they signed the Mac Carter. We did a cash walk there, didn't we? Yep. Yeah, that was interesting. Runny Mead. Hmm. Now this isn't as old as that by a long way. No. But they're interesting, aren't they? Though? And here's one of these wrought iron tombstones mm. here. They've got a covering, like a little roof, mm. made out of wrought iron, which the area was famous for. The memory of Mary Brown, the beloved wife of Edward Brown. And over here is a more traditional uh, headstone wrought iron. Strange to see broken anchors on this grave, as the sea's a long way away. Not so strange when you learn that the main mode of transport in the past was down the River Severn. Have a quick look into the church, see we're here. It's, wow. Not a very wonderful church. Well, that brings us to the end of our cash walk about clay pipes. We hope you found it interesting. And there was a nice offset multi too. Hmm. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up so more people can watch. And don't forget to go geocaching.